so hyperlink is a word or image that you can click to jump to a new document so a search engine is an information retrieval system designed to help a particular information on your browser so modern life has become easier and the people of the world have to thanks to the immense contribution of the internet technology so ftp is mainly used for transferring the web page from their creator to the computer that acts as a server for other computers on the internet the gopher protocol is communication protocol designed for distributing searching and retrieving the informations in internet protocol network hello everyone welcome back to my new session of web designing so in my last session i have discussed about the basic components and basics of computer networks so what is computer network so computer network is a connection between two or more computers is known as computer network and also i have discussed some terms related to web so i have discussed www and web page and i have discussed website and also i have discussed web browser web browser and url url stands for uniform resource locator and http hypertext transfer protocol and also i have discussed dns domain name system so these are the topics i have discussed in my previous session so today i am going to discuss about the following topics called some terms related to web again and advantages of internet services and world wide web email news groups e commerce and ftp telnet or remote login chat and gopher so let us understand one by one so first topic we have hyperlink in my previous session i have discussed about http right so http is different this is hyperlink so what is this hyperlink hyperlink is a connection that allows you to move easily from one web page to another related web page so this hyperlink is a connection that allows you to move easily from one web page to related another web page a hyperlink is a word phrase or image that you can click to jump to a new document or new con or a new section within the current document so hyperlink is a connection that allows you to move easily from one web page to another web page and hyperlinks are found in nearly all web pages allowing users to click their way from page to page clear and the hyperlinks are often blue and underlined example you can see the image here so this is one hyperlink so this text contain a link that target another page so here i have one web page this web page contains a link that target another page so here i have a two web pages in first page is link the target another page this link is a hyperlink but here we have two web pages the first web page is having one link but another web page does not have any link so this first web page a link the target another page so this is hyperlink so hyperlink is a word or image that you can click to jump to a new document clear so this is your hyperlink definition so all the text and images can be made into hyperlink a hyperlink is usually underlined and clicking on the hyperlink takes you to a different page clear so if you click on that link so you will go to the another page so this is about hyperlink and next we have search engine so everybody is using internet for your daily life right 
So while you are searching a particular topic, so while you are searching a particular content on your browser, so you will get some information. So a search engine is an information retrieval system designed to help a particular information on your browser. A search engine is software accessed on the internet that searches a database of information according to the user's query and the engine provides a list of results that best match what the user is trying to find. Today, there are many different search engines available on the internet. The first search engine ever developed is considered ARCHI, which was used to search for FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and the first text-based engine is considered Veronica. The first search engine is ARCHI. So search engine is a software accessed on internet that searches a database of information according to the user's query. And there are many different search engines available freely. Some of them are google.com, msn.com and yahoo.com. So these are the search engine available for freely. Clear? So this is about your search engine. And next topic we have surfing on the internet. So we are surfing so many things on the internet, right? So surfing on the internet means there are a large numbers of servers on the internet when the user is looking for some information. And what is this web surfing? Web surfing means navigate page to page on the web through hyperlinks. The broad meaning of web surfing includes searching and subscribing also. So web surfing means navigate page to page on the web through hyperlinks. So the term surfing is generally used to describe undirectional type of web browsing in which the user jumps from one page to another page. So daily we are searching so many informations on the internet. So this is called as web surfing. That means navigate page to page on the web through hyperlinks. So this is about surfing on the internet. So next topic we have advantages of internet services. So what are the advantages we are facing in internet services? In this world of information technology there is no field which does not use the internet. So daily we are using this internet services for so many purpose. So in the field of science and technology, military, engineering, banking, multimedia and medicine. So we are using this internet for so many purpose and also we are using this internet service for aviation, education, business, entertainment and so on. Right? So we are using this internet service for many purpose. So modern life has become easier and the people of the world have to thanks to the immense contribution of the internet technology. So there is no doubt about internet has made our life become easier and more convenient. So these are the advantages of internet services. And next topic we have World Wide Web. So this is also called web or www or 3w the collection of all web pages in all websites on the internet is called as www the collection of all web pages on the internet so the collection of all web pages in all websites on the internet is called as www so this web pages provide us information in the form of text pictures audio video formats etc so what is this www? www is a collection of web pages in all websites on the internet is called as 3w or www. And the next topic we have email. What is this email? Email stands for electronic mail. Electronic mail is the most popular, cheap, easy and fastest mailing service. Is it right? E so email it stands for electronic mail is a popular, cheap, easy and fastest mailing service is email. 
and we can send and receive messages on the internet within seconds or minutes. Clear? So, email stands for electronic mail. So, we can send the image, so we can send the documents, we can receive the documents in a fraction of seconds or minutes. I hope you are familiar about this email, right? And next topic we have news groups. So, news groups are discussion groups on the internet. So, news groups is on, a news group is an online discussion. A news group is an online discussion forum accessible on the a news group is an online discussion forum accessible through Usenet and you can browse news groups and post or reply to topics using news reader program. So, news group is an online discussion forum accessible through Usenet. So, news groups are discussion groups on the internet and they are used for free exchange of information and it is used for free exchange of information. A user sends a message to the news group site. So, user can send a message to the news sites. And other users read this message from the site and replay this news group sites. And news groups are provided by special computers called news servers. So, these news groups are provided by special computers called as news servers. Clear? So, this is your news group. News groups are discussion groups on the internet. So, it is an online discussion forum. Clear? And next topic we have e-commerce, electronic commerce. Everybody knows about this e-commerce, right? So, it stands for electronic commerce. So, e-commerce is the activity of electrically buying or selling of products on online services on the internet. And electronic commerce draws on the technologies such as mobile computers, electronic funds transfers and supply chain management, internet marketing, online transaction and processing electronic data and also inventory management system. So, e-commerce is nothing but is the activity of electrically buying or selling of products on online services through the internet. So, this is your definition of e-commerce. Examples of e-commerce include online banking and online shopping and online education etc. So, we have many examples for e-commerce that is online banking and online shopping etc. And next topic we have FTP file transfer protocol. So, what is the, so what is the meaning of protocol? Protocol means is a set of rules. FTP stands for file transfer protocol. What is the role of this FTP? It is used to transfer files on the internet easily and quickly. So, file transfer protocol. We can easily transmit the file on internet easily and quickly. Transmit the file. So, file can be in the form of audio, video, graphics on data files can be uploaded and downloaded using file transfer protocol. So, whatever the data we are uploading or we are downloading on the internet, so this comes under with the help of this FTP, file transfer protocol. So, usually FTP client will send request to FTP server. So, easily we can download or upload the file. So, FTP stands for file transfer protocol. So, FTP is mainly used for transferring the web page from their creator to the computer that acts as a server for other computers on the internet. And it is also used for downloading the files to computers from other servers. And next topic we have Telnet. Telnet or remote login. So, Telnet stands for telecommunication network. So, what is this Telnet? Telnet is a computer based protocol which permits your computer to log on to other computer at some location and use it as if you were there. The main task of the internet is to provide services to the users. For example, users want to run different application programs at the remote site and transfers a result to the local site. 
So this requires a client server program such as a SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. But this would not allow to, to create a specific program for each demand. So Telnet is a computer based protocol which permits your computer to log on to other computer. So this Telnet is an important service using which journalist can transfer their stories into their organization server in a matter of seconds. Example here we have Telnet client and Telnet server. So here we have Telnet client and Telnet server. So easily this Telnet client can log on to other computer system. So this is your definition of Telnet, telecommunication network. And next topic we have chat. So what is this chat is the most popular services by which two or more users can live chat with each other. Hope you know about this chat, right? So daily we are chatting with the friends, family, etc. So it is the most popular services and we can chat by text or audio or video, right? And voice chat is just like talking on telephone. So voice chat is nothing but we are talking on the telephone, right? And messenger software like Yahoo Messenger or MSN Messenger is used for chatting. So we have so many different type of chatting softwares, right? So chat is a text-based communication that is live or in real time. Example, when talking to someone in chat, any type text is received by other participants immediately. In contrast, other text-based communications such as email are modes of communications that are not real time. Chat is a most text-based communication. And next topic we have Gopher. So what is this Gopher? Gopher on the internet is a system for users to search for files via menus or directory structures. So via directory structures, we can search the information in Gopher. So it uses plain English names and is text based only. The Gopher protocol is communication protocol designed for distributing, searching and retrieving the information in internet protocol networks. So Gopher is a communication protocol. The Gopher on the internet is a system for users to search for files. So this is about your gopher. So today we learnt some basic terms related to web. Example, search engine, we have studied e-commerce, email, chat, gopher and telnet etc. So in my next session, I will discuss the basic things in email and also I will discuss about HTML. Thank you.